Hi crafters, Karen here and welcome to another video of my Using Background Stamps in a Variety of Ways series. This is my third video of four and next week I will be wrapping up uh, this series and we'll be starting something new in May. For this video today, I thought that I would show you how you can use a background stamp to create an embellishment to create cards. And I will be using Crafty Al's sheet load of cards, uh, latest sheet template, uh, April. And here I'm going to show you some supplies that I'll be using today. So I'll be using that succulent uh, background stamp. And for my papers today, I'm using the Honeybee Playful Pastels. And I was going to use that gingham and that floral pattern. My card base will be gray, and because of that, I will be using a white piece of cardstock to layer inside uh, for my message. I have a piece of white cardstock to use for my background stamp, and I will be using the Warm Breeze VersaFine Claire ink uh, to stamp uh, my image, and then I'm going to use my clear em embossing powder uh, to kind of give it a little bit of a shine. And then I have this uh, washi tape that uh, I usually use washi tape uh, when I'm uh, using white cardstock inside a colored card base. And I thought with this floral pattern and those colors, I thought it went well with the theme of my card today. I'm going to get started with the stamping of the background onto that white piece of cardstock. Now I'm only going to be using, um, I'm just going to be stamping a uh, that big flower there and that's what I'm going to use as my embellishment. And uh, so I'm not going to ink the whole thing, I just want to make sure I get enough ink on there to cover that largest part of the flower. I press down, I adhere that and I see that I, uh, you know, I need a little bit uh, more ink. Uh, this is how why this platform is uh, very important because if you need to restamp, you can just uh, you know reapply it uh, without having to shift anything. Now I'm going to do some heat embossing, and I'm going to bring in my uh, clear embossing powder and just going to place that over the flower and get that heat embossed. And I'm using my Sizzix uh, heat embossing uh, tool. And uh, this actually heats up pretty quickly. And I go ahead and I start um, heating that up. And you can see how uh, you get that little bit of shine uh, on this ink. That's what I like about the VersaFine Claire inks is you can definitely do heat embossing with them and give it that little bit of a shine. I'm going to bring in my Cutter B scissors and I'm going to now fussy cut the flower out. And um, a tip to share with you for fussy cutting is uh, when you are fussy cutting, turn the paper um, as much as the scissors are cutting and doing the work. Uh, the, the magic um, or the key here is uh, by turning the paper. And um, it lets you get into those, um, you know, tiny spaces that you need to get into uh, to get those finer details. Uh, when you are fussy cutting. And as I'm coming here to an end, I realized that I uh, cut off one of the uh, petals, but that's okay. Uh, you can still, um, you can't really tell that um, it was cut off. So now I'm going to bring in the pieces for uh, the card. And um, I already cut and, um, you know, adhered everything that I needed to uh, for the sheet load. And now I'm just going to take those pieces and um, layer them onto the card base. So I'm going to start with the pattern papers and I'm going to uh, lay the, um, the uh, gingham piece on, to kind of line it up on the uh, floral pattern paper to make sure that I have that where I need it to be. And then once I have that lined up, I'm just going to use my Barely Arts glue and um, adhere that. Now, if you're uh, not familiar uh, with uh, Call Me Crafty L sheet loads, uh, she uh, creates um, templates um, every month. And on the first of the month, she does uh, uh, she shows you 
um, the actual template. And then on the second of the month, she shows you the process video. And then her collaboration team also uh, shares their take on uh, that month's sheet load. So if you're not subscribed to Crafty Al or if you don't have her sheet loads, uh, I'll have her information linked in my description box and be sure to check it out because she has some awesome templates. And again, in order for you to uh, get this template for free, you do need to be subscribed to her channel. So let's go ahead and get back to the card making. So I'm lining up the uh, gingham pattern paper onto that, that floral pattern. And before I add the embellishment, I'm going to go ahead and now place uh, that whole piece onto the card base. Bringing in my ATG gun and going to carefully place that on the top. I thought the gray uh, was um, a great color, uh, kind of helping picking up that gray that you see in the, uh, the that floral uh, patterned paper. And now I'm going to, I want a little bit of a pop for my embellishment, so I'm going to bring in uh, my double-sided foam tape and I'm going to adhere that to the back and, uh, you know, just to give it um, a little bit of a pop off the card. So I get that pull of, you know, a good length of the tape. I snip that and then now I'm just going to, uh, you know, layer that onto the back of the embellishment. The great thing about sheet loads is if you are uh, a card maker who likes to create cards in bulk, uh, this is definitely right up your alley because you can get anywhere from six to uh, 12 cards. Uh, I think there was one sheet load where you actually got 18. Uh, so you definitely get quite a bit of cards uh, depending on the template uh, that, you, you know, that you're using. And I use Crafty L sheet loads all the time. I absolutely love them. I am a bulk card maker because I do donate a lot of my cards. And I do make some for family and friends as well, but the bulk of them is definitely for uh, donation. So once I have the tape adhered to the back of the embellishment, uh, I did burnish that a little bit, just pressing down on the, the, you know, the tape to help uh, get that, um, you know, the release paper off. And then once I have that off, I'm, you know, going to make sure that my flower um, is faced uh, the, the right way uh, before I set it down in place. So there I'm trying to see how the flower um, is supposed to be positioned. And once I figure that out, then I just lay it down. Now, I'm not doing a, a sentiment on the front of the card. I really want that flower to speak, and I want that to be the main focal point of that card. So um, I will be using a sentiment for the inside, and I'll share that with you in just a minute. Here I'm just finishing up, uh, you know, putting the card together. So I'm bringing in that white piece of cardstock and my washi tape, and uh, just putting, um, you know, a strip of that tape onto the white piece of cardstock. Now, washi tape is typically um, low-tech tape, so I always cut a little bit extra off and I wrap it around and adhere it to the back. And then I just layer the adhesive over that um, for extra security. And um, I haven't ever really had a problem uh, doing it this way. Uh, I, I know that I if I just cut it and have it be completely even on the front, I'm afraid that that'll just start to peel off and peel away, and I, I don't want that to happen. So I layer that on the inside of the card, and it is now ready for my uh, sentiment for the inside. So I will be using the Just a Little Message Coming Your Way to Wish You a Bright and Cheery Day sentiment from Stampendous. And I'm going to use the same ink that I used for the flower. And uh, the one thing about Stampendous, uh, at least their, their um, rubber stamps, I have to usually add uh, the tape uh, so it'll adhere uh, to the, um, the platform 
uh, when I'm stamping because um, it doesn't, if I peel that plastic off that you saw there, it, it it's actually going to, it will just, you won't be able to put it back on. And I, I, I really don't want that to happen. So um, I just use the ad adhesive to help it um, apply to that platform. Here is a finished look at the card, and I hope that it has inspired you to try to use your background stamps as um, embellishments. Until my next video, I hope your day is a crafty day. Bye-bye.